Hey guys, it's DandyQ, and today I got a hopefully short video on how to make a key mural. If you guys didn't know already, I recently made a, a quick uh, time lapse of me making a Mario mural, and it's uh, on my channel, link in the description. And I thought it was really fun, it was a great experience. And I don't see many uh, tutorials online, so I'm just going to create one. This video will be of a couple parts. Um, the first part is going to be like a sort of introduction, and the second part is going to be like how, how to actually build it, and the third part is going to be some quick tips and tricks. So the first part, what is a cube mural? A cube mural is when you take an image and then recreate it in Rubik's cubes. So each pixel on the picture would represent each sticker on the Rubik's cube. Although you can uh, use many, 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 many cubes to create a huge, giant, realistic picture. I'm just gonna uh, show you how I did my um, 16 Rubik's Cube picture. So, what I did is I took a simple picture online, this Mario, and I uh, took each pixel image and uh, recreated it, and each sticker is one pixel of the picture. Now that you had a basic introduction, I'm going to start to show you how I actually built them. So right here is the image. As you can see, there's a 3 by 3 pixel right here. So what I did was I took each 3 by 3 pixel and then I each represented on that cube. So, for example, this white weird L shape is right here and then the red and the green is right here except I use blue so I'm gonna walk you through a couple um, examples of how I actually built them the first one is going to be this one which uh, you already saw before and sorry if there's any confusion because I have pink instead of red so the first thing I would see that this is the center, so I would flip to that white center, and then there's a huge block right here, so just imagine like that, and then there's one right here, and a red and a blue. Now, I used commutators and conjugates to uh, use mine and build it uh, a little bit faster, but I want to walk you through a beginner method. So I'm just going to imagine that this is a cross piece. So what you would normally do is take the cross piece and then also I forgot to mention you should probably already know how to solve a cube under like a minute or so. So you take a cross piece and insert it in like you normally do. Finally you have these two and imagine these are the corners. So I'm looking for my white corner and I'm going to insert it in and you, you don't have to uh, line everything perfectly on the edges because we're only looking at the this face specifically. Now for the blue, I see the blue right here and right here. I'm going to use this one because it's a little bit simpler. So I'm going to take this corner and then just insert it in normally. There you go. Next example I'm going to use is this one. It utilizes your knowledge of the cube. Now, everyone knows the dots pattern. Well, everyone that, that's been cubing long enough. And the algorithm will be right here on the screen. Like that. What it does is it twists these uh, centers clockwise, twists these centers counterclockwise. So, as you can see here, it's pretty much just a dots pattern with this red thing. Uh, I mean, red sticker. So... I'm going to go ahead and solve the cube. So I noticed that we have to get this pink or red into the white face. So I see that by twisting, if I hold it like this, and then the pink will go and twist into the red. And we don't care about the rest of the cube because we're only looking at this. So I'm going to hold it like that. So this twists that clockwise. And we're going to do the algorithm, and as you can see, we have it. And now, 
for this. If anyone's been doing Frederick long enough, you know that when you have an edge or a cross piece uh, flipped, it's really annoying, and you can just do this. Oh, oops. My bad. Sorry. Um, but, of course, I'll show you the beginner way again. Take the cross piece out, pretend it's flipped, and then just insert white corners again. Of course, you can use the advanced method for a faster, uh, faster build. That's all the examples I'm going to be showing you today, um, because I want this video to be a little more compact. So, um, the next thing we're going to be going over is some quick tips and tricks. First of all, um, having a square amount of cubes, such as how I did it, a 4x4, four four, is a lot easier because most pixel images will be in a square, and in my opinion, it looks better. Also, you want to have consistent cubes. As you can see in this row of Mario's hat, this looks a little off because it has cubicle half brights on. And of course I didn't have enough guan longs, so I just used I just used this. And my thought process was the blue is too dark, it doesn't match this at all. The green is too fluorescent, the orange is not salmony, the yellow is a little bright. So the regular uh, red and white look perfect. So what uh so I just used that and I think it looks pretty consistent, but it would be a lot better if I had another guanlong. Another tip is if you're making if you're gonna make a picture of yourself, um try to pixelate it as much as possible. I found even this Mario to be a little bit time consuming. It took me about half an hour, maybe three quarters. So if you have a more pixelated image, such as an 8-bit Mario, then it's a lot more easier. Finally, if you find it hard to visualize, you can always take your pixelated image and then separate it, uh, just screenshot each 3x3 three three pixel separately, and then do each one normally. So that's it. I hope you en uh, enjoyed this video, and I hope it helped you. I definitely recommend this project to anyone who already knows how to solve a cube decently fast and is looking for a new project. Please like the video, share, and subscribe to get help this video get moved around. Also, make sure to subscribe and like the other video of me making this Mario. Um, link in the description. Well, that's it. Bye, guys.